In this video, you'll learn how to set up a StereoKit project for desktop development. First, you'll need to install the required software. StereoKit requires Visual Studio 2019 in the .NET desktop development workload. If you already have Visual Studio 2019 installed, you can use the Visual Studio installer to download and install the .NET desktop development workload. StereoKit Visual Studio templates are available for download in the Visual Studio Marketplace. These project templates include a .NET Core template and a Universal Windows Platform template that is linked to the StereoKit NuGet package. The templates are also configured to properly copy project assets by default and include some boilerplate code that gives you a bit of functionality to work with right away. Alternatively, you can download the StereoKit NuGet package and install directly into your project. We'll start by creating a new project in Visual Studio using the StereoKit.NET Core template. In the Solution Explorer, there is an Assets folder and a Program.cs script. The Assets folder is where you can store assets such as model files. The Program.cs script contains the application logic. The Program.cs script provides boilerplate code for creating your app. The sample provided displays a rounded cube that can be grabbed and moved with a simulated hand. StereoKit automatically provides you with hands, an environment, and lighting. You can build and view the app on a VR device or in flat screen mode, which displays the app on your desktop. By default, StereoKit will run on a VR device if one is plugged in and an OpenXR runtime is properly assigned. Otherwise, StereoKit will run in flat screen mode, which is then viewable on your PC screen. Here is a sample run in flat screen mode. In flat screen mode, Use your mouse to control the simulated hand. To select and move the cube, click on your left mouse button and drag. To learn more about StereoKit, visit aka.ms slash StereoKit.